Nobody in the root of towns told me to go to the hideout. Oh, there's a trip. Let's check that. Oh, the oasis has more water again. Okay? Oh, that works. That works. Something more here. Maybe some sort of king stuff. Can, can I just shoot through here? been there yeah I don't think I've been there hmm would there be some ah maybe a Gordo soldier is stranded here during the sandstorm you have my support okay let's see if there are any sports in here hmm Look out post logbook. Your the desert look out post logbook recorded by Sudri. First page. The desert has been calm as I've se ever seen for, for quite some time now. No raids, no monster attacks, no bandit incidents. I should be happy about that, but it's my job to keep an eye out and report any events that are out of the ordinary. When nothing is happening, I have nothing to do, but no matter how quiet it gets, I can't leave my post. 
I know how important this task is, but that doesn't keep me from getting bored. I should be grateful for the peace. I've gotten word that this local post is going to be shut down. I was worried that it was because I hadn't been doing my job, but it turns out that it wasn't the case at all. It's actually because they are building a lighthouse to keep Karakara Bazaar in Gerudo Town to communicate better. They, they should have another lighthouse at the Gerudo Town so they could send signals. Okay. The task of watching for anything unusual will be moved there, so there's no reason to maintain this local post. I hear the lighthouse will be gigantic, so it is visible in the worst sandstorms the desert has to offer. But it, it's a bit exciting to imagine the beacon of hope shining over Karkar Bazaar that we could look to in a disaster storm. I can't wait to see the lighthouse in person. Today is my, is my last day in the local post. I'm a bit sad saying goodbye to this place, but I've been asked to supervise the new training area being built at the Southern Oasis. Ah, that's her. I thought she would be the one that talked to the lighthouse. I feel honored to be trusted with training our soldiers. It's a direct way to help keep the desert safe. I've learned a lot from watching over the desert here. It's time to put it to use by teaching others what I know. Hmm. Where? Where? Ah. Yeah, I think the only things I have here are those boxes. Oh no, good. Get another Saint Seal. Hey. Hey. Oh, a Moduga here. Uh, how do I fight this Moduga here? There's rock here. There's rock here. I'm pretty sure the seal wouldn't walk here. But then we'll look at this. Use some more 
armor. No. Now we got the bomb. Desert. Desert doesn't have a name. Them already. No, Saint Sparrow. Did it work? Ooh, I think those were one of the worst ones to get in the previous game. Saint Sparrow, this desert dwelling breed of sparrow has adapted to withstand the heat in the arid climate of the Gerudo region. Sometimes they can be spotted half buried in the sand. Holding perfectly still as a means of evading predators. Oh. Oh. And there's a car halfway there. Mobbling ground in that one. No. Put that in the sunshine. Reaching the saints. Hmm. Wow. This is 
huge. Seems a bit weird that I have to go to above that. No, oh, and it didn't drop anything. Ah, oh. oh, that's the goal. Can I just... No way! No. Uh, okay. I could pass like that, but I want to go through it all. I want to see what's around. Oh no. Okay, I would need some stamina here. Just actually a bunch of empty space. I thought there would be more stuff around here. Cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it was there, sir.
Okay, now, yeah, now let's continue Corusa Valley. This was a bit hard for me to get soon. Uh. So Oten can't believe the monster got the better of me. How frustrating. So, uh. just got beaten up. I'm not exactly being talked to you right now. Oh, come on, screw that! Yeah, I'll completely forgot forget about you. Person. Who's our next member? Mm. Are you sure the equipment fits you? Uh, you want to wear it so that your stomach really strains the fabric, just like Master Kogas does. <laughs> anyway, I'm keeping an eye out for Nemesis Link, so could you give me some space over here? Uh. Wow, our meeting must be fate. You know, I really like your looks so much so that I'm officially offering you a place in the fan club I founded. <laughs> You'll be our second member, fan club for who? How dare I forget about the man you defeated? It's Master Koga. Ah, so I know he was defeated already. Huh? Apologize for him in the afterlife. <laughs> uh, they don't drop their surge if they. He only dropped it after he got beaten. <laughs> Uh, there was a shrine here and uh, some wood spawn here. Hmm. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, I don't think they would stop me here. Eh? Let's see. Yeah, I'm probably gonna meet, meet a few here, so I should just keep going. Pick up and hide out. Ah. Hey, um, so I heard that I could learn this cool move here. I think it's called the Earthquake Technique. Lost. Only Iga Clan members may enter this place. Uh, and I want to join you. I heard you guys could teach me some cool moves that I that I have everyone swimming over me. Mm. To join us, it is to become part of collective shrouded in secrecy. Our lives sworn to Master Koga. Who you were before matters not, only your strength, your loyalty, and your skill for espionage. Find our three branches and collect it the clear tire. Earn your place among us and the door will open to you. Mm. Maybe then we'll teach you our moves. Now go away. Uh, go away? 
I don't get a hint about where the branches are or even a peek at what the Iga Clan wears. You don't know what they wear? How do you even know they have a technique here? Uh, hey, come on, you gotta be kidding. My mom said, I know my sweet little Mimos will pass the Iga test first try. That's why I came all the way out here. But not only did I not pass, I didn't even get past the front gate. Mm. But if I do join the Iga clan, then maybe I'll be, uh, be able to learn some cool moves. If I could bust them out, I bet everybody be like, Wow, Mimos, you're so handsome and cool, huh? huh. Wow, a real life Iga. Uh. Awesome, I've never seen one in person before. So that's the Iga outfit, huh? Looks even more stylish, stylish than I thought. If you've never seen one, how do you know what we look like? Okay, that sounds it. I'm finding those branches and getting those duds. Then those cool ego moves will be mine. Oh man, I'm gonna be so popular. Okay, that wasn't exactly what I expected. Uh, it's you. Attention all members, we're under attack. It's Link. Prepare for battle immediately. I thought he also would, just wouldn't let me enter. Can I get in now? Mm. We discovered an intruder in our midst, so the hideout is locked up for now. We didn't discover an intruder. I wasn't inside yet. Oh, bummer. I'll have to come back later. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Alright, coming. <laughs> <laughs> the fearless demeanor, I heard you had promised, but I didn't think you'd earn your place, let alone rise to blame master. I explained it, feet. But don't let your title bloat your ego, stay faithful to the cause with a sharp blade and a silent heart. I imagine you you are well acquainted by now, but this at all is the Lynchpin of the Iga Clan's subterranean expansion. Mm. It's where we train our members, develop our special vehicles, and do whatever else needs doing. I hope you'll find this place can serve you as well as you can serve it. We're grateful to have you, Blade Master. Thank you. Yeah, I don't want to spend that much. That works. <laughs> Can I? I just want to talk to you. you got a grind, Nilby? How many? Oh, I'm gonna test that before taking off my mask. Yeah, how I love my little spikes. There's something so deliciously dangerous about having them around. Hey jerk, anyone ever tell you it's rude to stare? 
Don't tell me we're here to get some spikes of your very own. I'm spiking shop. Spike shopping. I just restocked my spiky babies too. But I guess they are for sale, so oh I can't help uh, can't really stop you. Head over hundred rupees. And then I have to take them all. Yeah, that's something. Uh maybe to a weapon. Um oh how cute. You're too scared to embrace the spikes. The weapon? Oh, long day you know. Have I take a picture of both? Uh, keep a weapon sharp, assassin. Aww. The beach to 164. That's a weird price. No. You done? Then leave. Come on, the blade masters are nice to me. They all seem a bit rude. They're resistible. I only saw the best of the bunch. <laughs> Banana goodness coming right up. How many? Never mind. Got enough to tie you over. Talk. Oh. Everything here is top notch. Uh, the plane sound and so. And just your smell, if not buy bananas and split. The other one. Ah, oh, the schematic. Next, I'll just mount this tire here and fix it real tight so it won't come off. Ah? Hey, can you stop blooming? I can't focus, just think there's all silent. Can you see the depth team left me an armored vehicle to fix? Oh. Uh, you're interested in this raging roadster. My Finnish armor clad masterwork, the Gloom Ranger. Lund Ranger. I'm interested. Aww. If you really won't say no for an answer, I could sell it. So one for 999 rupees. Sell me one? Uh, the whole thing? Not just the uh, schematic? Uh, really mess, aren't you? For you, I'll let it go for a much cheaper. 500 rupees. I think this would be a waste of money. As long as you, just as long as you tell me your thoughts on how to improve this vicious vehicle. Oh, and don't tell anybody you got it from me. It, it bad for me if this got out. Aren't you the guy that developed them? You okay if you do the head over side? Ah, so so I got the vehicle. Uh, not a chance. Huh? Then beat it. Waste my time with small talk again, and I'll tie your head to the lights. And shine them right in your eye. Come on, I don't think any of those huge blade masters will take this kind of talk from the foot soldiers. Let's place it facing the wrong way. Ah? Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to repair the frame. Don't touch it. Or do one of the main parts? No, it's not like I even have other options here. It is fixed. Huh? Uh, I told you that the frame is in the middle of being repaired. Uh, do you want me to repair the inside of your head too? Huh? Hey, cut out. I told you frame is in the middle of Okay. Now it's the same. Ah. Yeah. 
here. Okay. There. Sneak elixir. Tell me. Between the tasteless groom dredger and over there in this hover doom mark three. Which do you think is more beautiful? The hover doom. Duh. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> here's this question never answered. This hover doom mark three is the a whole different beast from the uh, all show number over there. Simplicity with the with a dash of recklessness. Now that's how you craft a dangerous weapon. Well, so how about it? Uh, you have a dash of recklessness yourself, so so you will brand new for 99 rupees. That's much cheaper. Hold on, you're a blade master. Okay, yeah, just scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Help me out, and I'll give you a hover doom mark 3 for 50 rupees. But let's just keep it between us, huh? If people here I'm just letting this go, it wouldn't be good for me. You good with if we head over outside? I'll oh, pass. <coughs> I picked the wrong person to ask. Let's go again. Okay, that's what I wanted. See that? The Gloom Dredger. Mm. It's always spikes and no substance. And uh, so are you. This conversation is over. Go. Get out here. Not another move. I'll give you points for being interested in my hover the mark three, but Aww. no touching without my okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep yourself away from my hover the mark. Can you? You really had impactful taste. Aww. However, I told you not to touch it. And I guess you will repeat like that. Yeah. Aww. Lightning Helm Journal. Oh yeah, there's that. Read the Lightning Helm Journal. First page. The Thunder. Ah, oh, it was Thunder Helm. Been, has been passed down from one girl the chief to the next gen for generations. So we were briefly able to steal this electric shock repeating helm. It was quickly retaken. We have mistaken their chief's youth for naivete and paid the price for it in return. Makila Riju is not to be taken lightly. So our time with the Thunder Helm was brief. We did manage to complete a thorough analysis of it. Finding lightning resistant materials was no small feat, but I suppose that makes sense for the Gerudo's sacred heirloom. Even with the metals and gems on hand, however, we still cannot seem to replicate the techniques used to craft it. Oh. I've been struck by lightning more times than I can count. I felt my soul flicker on the boundary between life and death. Just as my body neared its limits, one of our intelligence officers share some promising news. While this guy is a traveler, he hit it he hit it off with a fledging tailor and learns about a special stitching technique. But the tender helm was metal. Why stitching? We apply the technique on our own helm and for the first time it repelled lightning. Our lightning helm was born uh, so it looks different. Just as the Gerudo's sacred hero was said to be selective about its user, so too is our lightning helm, so it didn't work for everybody. Our inconsistent results were not merely technological, but contingent on the helm's compatibility with its user. So it's truly magical, not just 
special properties of the material. So I had hoped to train someone to wear the helm. The many electric shocks I've suffered have taken their toll. My body is at its end and my chance to name a successor is long past. Though I could make only one, I lead this world dreaming of the day that a member of our clan does the lightning helm. Damn, I feel kind of bad for stealing it. But then the guy was evil. And our and at long last brings the rough family of Haru to ruin. Stop. It looks the same. I think it was fall. It looks the same. Why do they need seeming? I don't have a blade masters. I fought a bunch already. I'm sure I have pictures of you guys. These are the elite soldiers of the Iga clan, equipped with blades of wind cleaving power. They're extremely agile despite their bulky build. Uh, this Iga clan rank, they have mastered a technique that allows them to manipulate the very earth. So shouldn't I have learned the technique before becoming a blade master? I should have started as a foot soldier. By striking the ground, they can raise stone pillars and unleash a blast of air. Yeah, it's just that the thing, the Blade Master, it's not hideout, I think, but it is in the middle of the path to Gerudo Desert. I should have actually probably come here before with the clothes, so I would be a Eagle Foot Soldier. I can just take it. Aww. So you're the Eagle who made Blade Master faster than anyone else in history. This is where we mortals train. I won't begrudge you your title, you're clearly capable. But you're a newcomer to Marina, and I'll treat you as such. Now, newcomer, Zelda's disappearance has provided us with an opportunity to crush Haru's spirit once and for all. But her appointed swordsman, Link, is still out there, alive and kicking, stubborn little wretch. Hence, our intense, intensive training. He's a formidable warrior and we'll all need to hone our skills to take him down. Ah. If you value your life, I recommend you do the same by master title or no. Show enough promise. Ah. And you might even earn your our precious lightning helm. Uh, it's our sacred treasure, completely resistant to electricity. But because it's such a powerful piece of armor, it can only be handed handled by those who have proper, been properly trained. Oh. We train by sparing with our fellow Iga, we set a timer and the competence just keep coming. You earn better and better prizes based on the number of op opponents you defeat. Ah. Let's see, if you really want to measure your strength, show me you can defeat 3 combatants in under 1 minute. Seems easy. The training fee is typically 100 rupees, but since you're new to this, I suppose your first round can be free. Know that uh, you should take this challenge. Uh, know that should you take this challenge, there's no turning back. You must fight until the time limit or your life expires. Tell me the prizes. Aww. You haven't even broken in your outfit and you're asking about prizes. Good. Nothing wrong with a little greed. Ah. If you trick, ah, trick on and I'll give you some Iga clan fabric as proof that you train with us. If it's six, ah, and I will instruct you if our secret skill, the earthquake technique. I thought this would be in the next room, the last room. If you somehow manage to defeat nine, then the Iga clan secret treasure, the lightning helm, is, will be yours. <laughs> Not that anyone's ever been able to do that, of course. Uh, taking a look at you, let's see if you can defeat 3 combatants in under 1 minute. Okay. The rules, you told me already. Bring it on. I like your spirit. Ah. 
Then let's start training all hands prepare for combat. Huh? Attack the newcomer as if he were Link himself or Master Koga. Which means they should attack me expecting to be defeated. Let's be fast and strong. Ah, I thought they would keep coming. Ah, enough. Hmm. Oh, I impress your sustain. You defeated three of our fighters. I just, just as I hoped it would. Not bad for newcomers, I suppose. Ah. Take this, you earn it. Ega fabric, the fabric bearing Ega design. It looks like it could be used to make paraglider. Watching you fight, it seems like you could take down six Ega members oh. next. If you want to train again, just let me know and don't forget the 100 rupees. Ah, oh, come oh. on. I thought I could do it for free if I did well enough. The more you train, the more you nourish your mind and body. It's always a good idea to sharpen your skills. Oh. Uh, on the line is our earthquake technique capable of use of which marks you as a true member of the Ega clan. Of course, to prove yourself worthy of such a prize, you would have to defeat six combatants. I think you're up for it. Mm, you prepared 100, fees. 100 rupees for the training fee. Yes, be warned. There will be no quitting until the challenge is done. Bring it on. Like a spirit. Ah. I start training, your hands prepare for coming, you're coming to the itself. Okay. Target smashed, impressive. Clearly, you've got some real promise. Ah. Well done, you've shown you're worthy to learn our secret technique. Accept this teaching with an attentive mind and ready heart. Okay, the next Earthwake manual, an esoteric manual that reveals the secret of the Earthwake technique, known only to Eagle Blade Masters. It's a move that involves Executing a charge attack with no rep weapons. Ah. So uh, I probably would, wouldn't be able to do this part if I wasn't a blade master yet. At this point, though, no member of the Iga clan has done so before. I believe you could take all nine combatants. Ah. If you want to train again, let me know and don't forget 100 rupees. can use to make queen for myself. Let's try to defeat them with that. Ah. The more you train, the more you nourish your mind. Oh. Okay. Then you help. Surrender this powerful piece of armor. And those who have gone through sufficient training can handle it. And can be ours if you defeat an unpredictable unpredict nine combatants in time. Then you're up to the task. Mm. Ah. Ah. Nah, it's weak. Oh, I had no parries. I had no hearts. Oh. 
Many capable fighters have trained in this arena, but you're the first to defeat nine of your peers. If you're this talented, you might be an even match for that Nefarious Swordsman Link. Oh. You're clearly more gifted than I dared imagine. Come now and receive a sacred treasure. Lightning Helm. The Iga copied a precious heirloom passed down among the Gerudo to craft this helm. Adorned with topaz, it reflects lightning. Ah. Be ever diligent in your training for Link's defeat in the order of Master Koga's alike. Master Koga like. Oh. Even without a prize on the line, your devotion to Master Koga has you eager to train. Ah. I like it. Your reward is admirable. Uh, to reward your admirable ambition, I will waive your training fee. But know this: should you enter the arena, there will be no quitting to always said and done. How, how many now? Mm. I like your spirit, oh. it's free. Ah? I better heal. Come on, just hit <laughs> Damage. Okay, it's just a new record. Ah. Okay, enough. Ah. Oh, look look who came out of that brown with still standing. And not only that, you defeated 10 combatants in the process. If you're really talented, you might be matched ah. with me. Just training for this defeat. Okay, same. <laughs> There's one here. Purple long blade. Hmm, there could be a banana here or something. Hmm. You know, you look an awful like Master Koga's arch enemy, Link. How can you tell? <clears throat> or at least your hair does. <laughs> Our clan's whole thing is being mysterious and monolithic. And buddy, you stand out. Oh. Well, as long as you can earn your keep, I suppose can ignore the Link look. We are really short on hands. Anyway, hurry on. I can't believe made it through our training in one piece. Oh. Okay, fine, you proved your worth. I still don't approve the, of the hair, but we're short on hands, so I can overlook it. Are you on it? What's here? Whoa! Oh. 
have time to laze about here then you'll have time to help we still don't have enough supplies for our base in the depths the link jerk wrecked havoc at the branches and interrupted our supply of food and materials meanwhile the folks down in the depths are all running around trying to get things back in order uh, I'm supposed to be an agent of com common and destruction. Why am I stuck doing this? Some fools keep yammering on about how Master Coke has fallen, but Master Coke is indestructible. That's why I'm gonna do everything I can to protect the Iga clan until he's back. Okay, so there is hope. At the chat, same thing. No, you said something different. It was trash. At the chat, base there. We, if not for the link jerk, we wouldn't be stuck doing this work. So if I ever see the guy, I'm gonna wreck his neck. Okay, you can try. Ah, uh, it never ends. How many times must I go back and forth between depths and the surface? Between this, that and the other thing, all this is Link's fault. Who's Link? Huh? You're kidding, right? Link's Zelda's appointed swordsman. He's always getting our way every chance he gets. The guy is a real pain. But not long ago, the eagle is. But not for long, uh, the eagle is tightening its net all over Haru. I'm sure we'll we'll hear news of his death any day now. <laughs> you never expect that we are disguising ourselves as trees to ambush him. Now he's done for. Three. Did I meet in a tree? I don't remember. No, there was the Kuko that talked, but they were... Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't be any fun to kill Link right away. Maybe I'll make him lug all his stuff to the depths and back for me. Uh, work him till he kicks the bucket. I'll show him. Collect uh. that. The only way Link will ever beat Master Koga is with a cowardly surprise attack. And that's how he does things. We'll pay him with a surprise tag of our own. <laughs> There's no way he knows where this guy in ourselves trees from a machine. He's not far. Okay, in you. Then we care yourself. You must be the one I've heard all the stories about. You got a reputation for being the chosen user of the Lightning Helm. Damn, which I should have spoken to you before. Nobody else could handle that thing. Wear it everywhere you go and show off its power as much as you can to honor our great Master Koga. Rumors are swirling that Master Koga was defeated by Link. Impossible. Do not concern yourself with these lies, but redouble your devotion. Mm. Depths are as good as ours. You can keep it. And it's all thanks to Master Koga finding this intervening before anyone else. Rumors are thrilling that Master Koga was defeated by Link. Possible, not concerned to sell the slice. Our number of bases in the depths only continues to increase. They don't really increase, do they? We don't get new ones. We're still short on supplies, of course, so we'll be counting on you to help keep everyone online. Let's see if we can put that up. Okay, so we can't fight. Okay. Well, let's get the teleport here working. Ah, oh, they have balloons and stuff. Rotsumamu Shrine mm, A balanced plan Huh. 
Okay, pretty simple. Mm, how many do I have? Okay, one more shrine, then we can get two upgrades. Also, for Mamu's store, like root. Let's try first when where nobody can see me. Ah, so how do I get in here? Well, you won't make it back now. Ah, you guys take me outside. Can I just keep doing that? The weapons aren't great or anything, but. Seriously, I can do that as much as I want to. <laughs> do you guys still drop stuff? Ah, but they drop less things now. No, oh, the red rupee now. No, and it's probably better to just go around killing Talises. 